As many of you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and next week, the Henderson is hosting the big Stand Up to Breast Cancer event. So we are really excited today to have the keynote speaker for that event join us on the show. Brenda Ledun is a primetime ABC News anchor. Hey, Brenda, thanks for coming on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. So I know that you are a survivor. So if you know, I don't want you to give away all of your talk for next week, but maybe you can give us a little insight into your story. Basically, it's about encouragement and not giving in to a bully. And the bully is cancer. And I had so many people show up at my doorstep with food and cards. And it was them sharing their stories that gave me courage to know that I could make it too. That's amazing. So, you know, as a news anchor, how was that to, you know, go through this journey uh, in your battle with breast cancer in such um, a public light? How did you handle that? Being public about it was what I had to do. I knew before I was even diagnosed with breast cancer that I had a mission. In fact, I even said a prayer in January of 2001. In February, I felt a lump in my right breast. And that's when it just came to me, listen, if I was walking around and I was feeling pretty good, there's another mother, brother, sister, son walking around with this despicable killer inside of them. And the one way that we can survive is early detection. So I felt compelled to, to share my story and say, hey, go get checked. It's a simple yearly checkup. It's a simple monthly self-breast exam and hoping to save somebody's life. Absolutely, and in today's world, I feel like we all have a sister, a friend, a cousin, my, my grandmother, you know, I feel like we all have some sort of connection to breast cancer. There, there is. Um, it's one. It, the, the statistics were one in eight women will get breast cancer in their lifetime. I've recently heard that it's gone down to one in seven. So it's a ticking time bomb, and it's something that communication can help, right? So that's what you and I do. We're in the communication business, and if there's something that is going to kill somebody, why not talk about it? No matter if it's breast cancer or liver cancer or whatever else. I've actually had women from 30 years ago who had had cancer, much like you said, your grandmother. And they said people wouldn't talk about it. it. It was almost shameful. Well, it's not shameful. It's life and death. And we have to talk about it. We have to remind people, the people that we love, to go get checked. Absolutely. So what could someone expect from the event next week? If they come out to the Henderson next Tuesday, what's something that they can expect to hear from you? Well, number one, my dad always told me, never feel sorry for yourself. This is not a boohoo event. This is not, oh, woe is me cancer. It is about kicking cancer's butt. And it's about encouragement and the power that every single one of us has within us to help make a better life for other people. And if you don't have cancer in your family, hey, listen, Cancer can show up in a community, it can show up in a home, in many other ways. And I'm gonna talk about that too, about how we can thrive, survive, and not let bullies like cancer or anything else take us down. Absolutely, you can't live your life in fear. Right, it's fear. Fear is the worst thing in the world in any situation. Cancer diagnosis, usually people think, oh, how long do I have to live? Well, you know what? We have so much new research and so many new treatments for cancer and a breast cancer vaccine that gives us hope that, that we can actually go on and thrive. There are so many people I know that have beat cancer in Birmingham, Alabama, personally, and you just have a new appreciation for life. And that's something else I wanna talk about is like every single day is a gift. So let's live it. That's right. So last question for someone out there that maybe was just diagnosed or maybe they're in their own battle right now with breast cancer. What advice can you give to them? Well, first of all, uh, I can't separate my faith from my strength and it was my faith and reaching up and saying, I can't handle this, but I know that you can, uh, that helped me get through it. My advice is it's not a death sentence that we're stronger than we know that we ever could be and that you can do this. That's my advice. Don't okay. let it beat you mentally because if it beats you mentally, then you're done. 
but there is so much that can be done. There is always hope. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's really inspiring to hear your story. Okay, thank you for having me. And hey, you go get checked too. Absolutely, I always do. Um, so you guys, if you want to hear Brenda speak next week at the Henderson for the Stand Up Breast to Breast Cancer event, check out the Facebook event, Stand Up to Breast Cancer. There's a direct link to buy your ticket there and support the cause.